guys, I hope everyone's having a wonderful week so far. So in today's video, I have a huge coat collection video for you guys. Most of the coats that you guys will be seeing in this video have been bought this year, which means they're still available. So I'll link them down below in the description box below. A few of my coats were bought last year, which means I don't have links for them anymore because they've sold out. So for those ones, I'll try and find you like similar replacement items. So you guys can check those out down below as well. But yeah, let's move on to the first coat. So the first coat that I have is this coat right here. It's this gorgeous, long, super fuzzy teddy coat in a lovely chocolatey caramelly brown. It's just, it's delightful. I have always wanted like a long teddy coat and they've always been like a hundred pounds plus. And while I don't mind spending that much on a coat if I'm gonna wear it forever, I'm just not quite sure at the moment. Like I love teddy coats and they're in style and you know, they've been trending for a while now, but it's one of those pieces where I'm a little bit scared, like, will I grow out of this in a while? Because if I do, I don't want to spend that much money on a coat like that. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to invest like £100 plus in one of those coats yet. But then I saw it. I had that shining moment in my life and I saw this coat and I was just like, oh my gosh. The less dramatic version of that story is that I saw one of my in-laws wearing it and I was like, damn girl, that's beautiful. Where is it from? And she said Primark and I was like, so I went to Primark the next day and picked it up and I have been in love with it ever since. Like for £30, you really can't go wrong. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this, sadly Primark doesn't sell online. They only have stores. So if you have one, head on over. Also, I popped in recently and they do have this in a pink as well. I was quite tempted. But then Tal reminded me how many coats I have and I was just like, you know what? You're right, I need to stop. So yeah, I just stopped with this one. But yeah, that is coat number one. The next coat that I have is this coat right here. It's this gorgeous black oversized Zara men's coat that I got for 10 pounds. Yes, 10 pounds. So last year during the summer sale, I was just wandering around the men's section and they had a rack of like stuff that needed to go. So I was like, hmm, let me have a little browse. And then I found this bad boy, which was a wool coat for 10 pounds and I was just like, well, I don't care if you're my size, you are coming home with me. Like a wool coat for 10 pounds, that's like unheard of. Except for in cases like this where you randomly find them on sale, just oof, mm, mm, love it. I really needed a black coat as well at the time, so this was literally just, it was perfect, just oh, God placed it there and placed me there and then it happened. But yeah, as you guys can see, this coat is a bit big on me because it's a men's size medium, but honestly, I kind of like it. It's like nice and oversized. I can layer under it. I can like wrap a massive scarf around me and just look like a big bundle of winter. It's just, I mean, is that a thing? You guys know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I really like it. It's also got like a slight like vintagey feel because it's so oversized. Like I used to have a black vintage coat, which is quite similar to this, but this is like 10 times better. So I am super, super happy. And also the best thing about men's coats is the fact that you have three three ginormous pockets. I mean, you have the two side pockets, which are ginormous, and then you also have an inner boob pocket. Yes, which is great because you always need one of those. But yeah, that is the second coat that I have for you guys. The next coat that I have is this one. It's this gorgeous brown checkered coat. It's got these huge lapels and it's gorgeous and amazing. And it was from Zara for 15 pounds. Mm -hmm -hmm. Like guys, I'm telling you, if you want a really, really good, <coughs> oh my God, I'm dying. If you want a really good quality coat for like the fraction of the price of like a really good quality coat and head over to Zara during their sales because you will snatch up a deal. But yeah, that is this coat. The next coat that I have is this gorgeous one here. It's a tan leopard print tie at the waist coat. It's just, ooh, it is fabulous. But yeah, this coat is from Pretty Little Thing and it currently retails for 60 pounds. I really need to learn some new words because I feel like I literally just say the word fabulous all the time. This is literally all Sharpay's fault. She did this to me. I feel like usually with my coats, like for the past like few years, I generally just tend to get really basic coats, like a plain black coat, a plain tan coat, or like a parka coat. And I would literally just stick with those coats for years. Like every year I would buy like the same coats all the time because I just thought like, you couldn't really dress up a coat. But I feel like over the past year or so, I've been like experimenting more with the coats, which is why I have a little bit more now. That's me trying to justify all my coats to myself. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try not to, get this mini coat to next year or else Tar will literally kill me. The next coat that I have is this lovely black coat. Ooh la la, I know, yet another black coat, but this one's different. It's more fitted. It's got like huge lapels. It's just, ooh. I mean, the other one was ooh as well, but that one was like super oversized and the lapels are really small. And if there's one thing I love about a coat, it's ginormous lapels or just like super like lapel, 
yes, it's lapels. But yeah, there's one thing I love about a coat or a really good jacket is like some really nice big lapels, nice and like tailored. I feel like it just makes your look look even more expensive and you know, we all want to look a little expensive sometimes. So yeah, love this coat and this coat was £55 from New Look. Anyway, now it's time to move on to the next coat and I feel like you guys are going to get a little mad at me for the next coat because it's very similar to like another coat that I have, like... Sorry, I'm getting all my coats out of my massive Ikea bag. But you know, it's it's similar. And like, I know when people see it, they're gonna be like, that is so similar to that other coat you literally just showed us. And that's probably because this coat is the exact same coat you just saw, just in tan. I know I probably shouldn't have done it, but just, just look at this, just, oh my God. I'm literally turning to that girl from Confessions of a Shopaholic, except for I don't have debt because I don't do credit cards, but I probably will end up poor. Oh my god, I need to control myself. Next year, I'm not gonna buy this many coats. I'm gonna rewear all the coats from this year for next year and the year after that and the year after that and the year after that. Also, quick side note, me and Tal actually have the same length of shoulders. Like here it's really broad shoulders and so do I because I have man shoulders, which means we fit into the same clothes and the same coat, which basically means all of these coats are for two people, which basically means it's a great deal. So if anything, I'm saving us money, okay? I'm saving us coin. We don't have to buy many coats. We can just share these. I know some of you guys are sitting there and laughing at me, but just head over to Tal's Instagram. I bet you, you'll see him wearing at least two of these coats, at least two. Now the next coat that I have is a fabulous one. So prepare your eyes to be snatched. Oh Jesus, no, that, that is not how you should be saying that. Prepare your wigs to be snatched. I was trying to go for like, oh my God, you're gonna be so shocked but that sounded really scary. So let's just pretend I didn't say that because that sounded really scary, what the heck. Anyway, um, prepare to be shooketh, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Prepare to be shooketh for this absolutely gorgeous coat. Like I literally got this coat yesterday and I have been in love with it ever since. So this is the coat. It's a lovely faux fur brown long coat and oh my gosh, it is simply sublime. Because seriously, just look at this, wow. Like it's, oh, 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 look at the reflection. Oh no, my God, the reflection. So I was only allowed this coat under one condition, which I know sounds a little bit weird. So let me just explain. So about maybe like two, three, maybe even four years ago. Damn, it's been a long time. But basically a few years ago, I got super, super obsessed with faux fur coats and I bought loads of them, like loads. I have 10 plus faux fur coats. I feel like when I first got into them, I just bought loads and every year after that, I would just buy maybe like one or maybe two. I don't know why, I know it's crazy, but the thing is I would wear them, but then I'd grow out of them very, very quickly because I was just like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm okay now. But I'd still hold on to them. Like I would always hold on to them. Oh my God, wait, let me take this off because it's like, this is a very hot coat <laughs> and I'm starting to sweat. So yeah, I held on to them because I really, really liked them, but I just didn't wear them that often. I don't know why. It's probably because I have so many other coats and also with faux fur coats, they're great, but to a certain degree, sometimes they can be a bit more of a trendy piece. And whenever I have trendy pieces, I notice I don't wear them as much. Like out of all my fur coats, I think there's just two that I actually properly wear. One is like a very like naturally browny kind of color faux fur coat. And one is a pink fur coat, like a nice like light pink, not like a hot pink or anything. And they're gorgeous and I love them. But out of all my many faux fur coats, those are the only two that I actually wear. So Tal's been telling me for ages to get rid of the other ones, but a part of me just couldn't do it. I was just like, I can't, I, I, I literally cannot get rid of them. So yeah, I had a bit of a problem and Tal was like, look, you need to get rid of these. You have a problem. But I was just like, no, my children. It was, it was very heartbreaking for me. But he basically said I have to get rid of them, which I understand because I have a stupid amount, okay? Like I understood that. So I told him, look, you know what? When I find the ultimate faux fur coat, like the ultimate one, which was a long faux fur coat, then I'm gonna get rid of all of those. Like I, I promise, the moment I get that, the rest are going. And then lo and behold, three weeks later, I find this coat. So yeah, I basically made a sacrifice for this coat. I got rid of all of my children for you. But yeah, that is the story of my faux fur coats. Even though it was a sacrifice, I'm actually really, really happy with this coat. Like I've literally always wanted a coat like this. This has been like the ideal one. So I'm super, super glad I have this. Like now I can say goodbye to the rest. So the next two coats that I have are a tad dramatic, but you know what? Like sometimes you just need a little bit of drama in your life. 
wonderful. Oh my God, look at me. I literally look like a Power Ranger, which has actually been my lifelong dream. Always a Red Ranger because a Red Ranger was my fave, but sadly the Red Ranger was never a girl. We were always pink or yellow and I will never forgive them for that. Anyway, Power Rangers aside, let me show you these coats. These coats are a bit more on the dramatic side, but honestly, I just, Again, it kind of relates to what I said earlier, how I want coats that will keep me warm, protect me from this horrible weather, but still look like super fashionable. Ooh, now that's a look. So this coat is from Amazon's brand called Fine. This is a vinyl trench coat in this lovely Oxford kind of color, although online they call it the color Rot, which is an interesting description, but at the same time, I kind of get it. But yeah, I'm just absolutely in love with this coat. I can literally see myself styling this in so many ways. Even though it's so dramatic, I feel like there's just so many things you can do with this. You know how they have a power suit? This is a power coat, just wow. And also because it rains so much in England, bit and waterproof so yeah this is one of my faves the next one that we have is something equally as fabulous now this one is in a similar material to the last one but this one's a bit stickier like it's not it didn't actually feel sticky to the touch or anything but like it just sort of sticks to itself it's that sticky kind of vinyl that just just sticks to itself like not to anything else but only to itself it's just like a touch tacky if you know what i mean so i feel like when i wear this and i walk around i'm literally just gonna be like squidward when he walks around just making that squeaky sound that that's gonna be me making that squelting sound that's gonna be me but yeah this is another trench coat it's the same but also not the same also i'm gonna tie this and then try not to move because it's gonna make so much noise but yeah that's what it looks like on i'm honestly in love like i'm trying not to move too much right now because it's gonna make so much noise on a normal day-to-day -day basis of course i'll move i don't mind but because i'm using a microphone i feel like this will literally pick up everything so i'm just gonna stay like this for now but yeah love this coat it's amazing it's just phenomenal i feel like it's so weird for me to film a video and not move this much because whenever i talk i generally tend to move everything but now i'm trying to stay still so i'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and i'm like girl you what this you seem like something's wrong and something is wrong because i can't move my body right now yeah guys that is my entire coat collection i'm now going to take this off because i can't talk and not move but if i move it makes too much noise so i'm gonna just i'm gonna just get out of it for now but yeah guys that is this entire video i really hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it was helpful for you guys i will be linking everything you've seen in this video down below for the few bits that aren't available because i bought them last year or maybe they're sold out i will try and find like replacement items that are quite similar so hopefully i'll be able to help you out be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you know hit that subscribe and little bell button to be notified when i upload new videos and don't forget you can follow me on instagram at simon smiles like like out of the days but like fashion pics face pics and like portrait pics and loads of random stuff on my instagram stories but yeah guys that brings us to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it's helped you guys and i will see you in the next one